Hi, it's Will from StormTheCastle.com, and here on YouTube, you know me as Epic Fantasy, and this is a video on how to make a dragon egg. But first, let's see how to fry a dragon egg. Get yourself a big pan. That's a four burner pan. Keep all the burners on low because we don't want to we don't want to burn the egg. Crack your egg and just plop that into the pan. Maybe a little bit of pepper, a little bit of salt. Dragon eggs are very tasty. You don't need a lot of spices. Now just fry it for about 15 minutes until the yolk is nice and firm and it serves eight. Thank you very much. All right, let's launch into the tutorial. How to make dragon eggs. Origami, catapults, and trebuchets, telescopes, terrariums, bonsai trees, and paper games, swords and shields, and real blacksmithing, model boxes, animation. I teach you how to feel creation. StormyCastle.com. Let's make something. Okay, that was a fun little sequence, but um, this tutorial is actually how to make just a dragon egg. And I will give you a little bit of um, more information about making the yolk and the pan and whatnot, just to show you so you can see. But if you want to make a dragon egg, that's what this is all about. So it looks good. And you can paint it any color that you want. So get yourself some kind of a, uh, a bowl or a pan or something. Blow yourself up a balloon and put it on it like that to hold it while you're working on it. Then we're going to do paper mache. You mix um, two cups of flour, two cups of water, and one tablespoon of salt. And you mix that up all really well. And the salt is to prohibit molding. Because over time that flour can mold, and you don't want that to happen. So the salt will help prohibit that. Then cut yourself strips of um, paper towels like this, about two inches wide. You can also use newspaper for this. Now what you do is you soak the strip in the paper mache mix and then use a scissoring action with your fingers like that to swipe off the excess and then just coat your balloon with it. And I'll show you right here, when you are putting the strips on there, overlap them. Like this next strip will cover about a third of the previous strip and that will make a strong uh, like shell on it. And I actually did two coats of paper mache on this. I did a uh, one coat where all the strips are vertical, and let it dry, and then I did another coat like this where all the strips are horizontal. So this egg is nice and strong. So that's pretty much it. You, gotta, you almost got a dragon egg here. Um, use a fan if you want to uh, dry it quicker. So you can pop that balloon once it's dry. And then paint it. And uh, we chose green because it's very lizard-like, but you can paint it any color you want. And for some reason, I'm thinking purple would be nice. And then a little bit of gold spray paint just to give it a little bit of a something, a little, I don't know what, like panache or something. <clears throat> and then I coated it with a clear acrylic sealant. Gives it a little bit of shine and protects it. And that's it. Your dragon egg is done. Send me a picture of yours. Now the yolk. I used a styrofoam ball, half hemispheres, and then I covered them in multiple coats, I think maybe five coats of um, latex rubber. And once that dried, I cut it open and peeled it off. So now what I have here is like an empty shell for a yolk. Because I wanted the yolk to settle when I put it in the pan. I didn't want it to be round like this, because when you put an egg in a pan, it kind of settles out and flattens. That's what I wanted this one to do. So what I did was, I, I left just a small slit open and then I put a plastic baggie in there and then I half filled that baggie with water. So now the yolk will settle. Then I tucked all that bag in. Mixed up a little paint to match the natural color of a chicken yolk and painted it up. Now the frying pan, I used a whole lot of formula for this. I just cut strips and rings and shaped them into a pan. Did the handle, that's a two inch formula. Shaped out that handle. And then painted it. Now be careful when painting foam. Um, a lot of different types of paints will actually eat away that foam and just melt it. That's an H2O latex spray paint, and it's safe on this, so test before you commit 
on something like that. I put a bag inside the egg after cutting it ragged Flintstone style like that and I filled that bag with um, clear dishwashing liquid. Put the yolk in there, close it up and we're ready to fry our egg. There you go. Some sound effects and we're all set. Thanks for watching. Remember, lots more projects here on my YouTube channel and on my website, JoinTheCastle.com. Having a lot of fun. If you make a dragon egg, make sure you send me a picture. I'd love to see it and put it on my website. Serves eight. Here's some more projects you might like. A medieval scroll, casting your hand, make a diorama in a dragon egg, and how to make a um, feather quill pen. Thank you.